Hey guys, welcome back to part two of the Stainless Works long tube header video. In the last episode, we um, installed long tube headers on my car from Stainless Works. Make sure to check it out down there, be in the description if you want to uh, you know, see the build and stuff. But in the end of that video, I gave you all a little teaser of a cold start, and it sounded something like this. Sounded something like that, and uh, some of y'all are pretty pissed off about that. So, the purpose of today's video is to basically go over gains from the long tube headers, my thoughts on getting long tube headers for your car, or for uh, challengers in specific, and also, at the end of the video, I will have some sound exhaust clips from before and after. So one of the biggest questions probably is what kind of power gains do you get from this? So I haven't dynoed my car and I don't think I'm going to just for a simple fact that it, it you know, it'd be a hundred dollars or two hundred dollars or whatever the local shop charges just to get numbers, which, you know, numbers don't really bother me. I'd much rather know who I can beat in a race and who I can't than to tell people how much horsepower my car has, which might be stupid, I don't know. But I will not be dyno tuning this, so I don't have a before and after comparison. Um, but I do have, uh, you know, base numbers that people have gained from long tube headers. So usually with long tube headers, you're looking at 10 to 15 horsepower gain and 15 to 20 foot pounds of torque, at least on the Challenger RT. So if you do the math, uh, my car uh, to the wheels on most dynos has around 335 horsepower. So you add 15 uh, to that and you get 350. Um, I'm assuming my exhaust doesn't really add much now that I have long tubes since you know, it just has better flow all around. So I'd say I'm in the neighborhood of 350 to 360 horsepower and probably right around 400 to 410 foot pounds of torque. So that's where I stand as far as numbers go, I believe, I may be wrong, but I think, you know, that's pretty close. So did I feel a difference? Yes, absolutely. Uh, first gear now blows the tires right off. It is cold and I do have summer tires, so I was having trouble with traction before, but now it doesn't matter if I roll into first, or you know what it be first gear is useless and I can't get any traction whatsoever and uh, second gear pulls much harder and so does third so I definitely think you know it's it, it gave a pretty decent gain in power and I even got a uh, email tune from Diablo Sport as you know I got a Diablo tuner uh, recently so that's how I did my tuning for this car because the nearest shops five to six hours away when I get into some big boy mods um, like a supercharger and stuff I probably won't use an email tuner um, but Diablo Sport is great if you don't have a tuner nearby so basically how that works is you tell I went to DiabloTuna.com uh, there's a guy named Johan there who works for Diablo Sport. And you basically tell him what mod you have. He writes you a tune. He sends it to you. You do data logging for him. He adjusts it. And you're on your way. You have a tuned car. So should you buy these for your car? I say absolutely you should buy these for your car. And uh, Stainless Works did a great job on the craftsmanship of these. And, uh, you know, even the little details like that badge you saw in the previous video on them, you know, it's the details and the craftsmanship that really, you know, would probably make me a customer live for them. They sound great too, and you get power gains from them. And honestly, I think on these Challengers, the biggest choke point is probably the stock cats and exhaust manifolds. Like, even with an aftermarket exhaust being coarse, it still wasn't that loud. You can get an axle back exhaust for a Mustang GT and be one of the loudest cars around. And you know, Mustangs, well you heard Nick's ZL1. He has uh, long tube headers and a factory exhaust and you see how loud his car is. So I think, you know, it goes a long way um, for challengers especially, just freeing up all that restriction. And honestly, if I had to do my mods over, I would have bought long tube headers from the get go. I would have skipped everything else 
you know, fuck a cold air intake, fuck a Corsa Extreme exhaust, I would've got long tube headers, so it makes all the difference. Now with this part in the video, I'm sure you're bitching at me, Bobby, let's hear the fucking car. Well here, I will let you hear the fucking car, but this will be the end of the video, so make sure to let me know if you like this little build series. Ryan has some big stuff coming up soon, but for now, I'll catch you all later, and enjoy the sound clips.